Hello and welcome to another exclusive good e-reader video. This is Nick. And this is Marcus. Today we have the Pocketbook IQ701. Now this is the tablet version of the latest e-readers they had released. So this is Pocketbook's first Android driven e-reader and it's their first tablet that they have released. Uh, before we start showing you off the menu functions and the hardware, let's just lay some specs on you first. Uh, first of all, it's a 7 inch TFT LCD screen. The resolution is 600 by 800 with a 143 dpi color. It is full touch screen, although it is a resistive touch screen as opposed to a capacitive. The version of Android that it's running is Android 2.0. It's running a Samsung 800 megahertz uh, ARM 11 processor. It has 256 megs of internal memory and 2 gigs of flash memory. So it could store roughly about 1,000 to 1,500 ebooks. But if you want to uh, further increase this, uh, you can upgrade to 32 gigs uh, via an SD card. You connect it to your computer via a mini USB cable. It has twin 3.5 millimeter stereo speakers. It does have a built in accelerometer. Roughly the battery life is good for about 12 to about 14 hours. It does come in red, white, and blue, and this is the blue model that we have here. It does come with a wall charger, and you're looking at, to purchase this, it's only roughly $139. Now, for e for ebook formats, it does read a, a number of them, including uh, EPUB, DOC, text files, and so on. So let's just take a look at some of the hardware on this. Uh, you can see that it does have those twin speakers here, as well as the wall charger and headphone jack. Uh, you notice right here, this is where the volume settings are. Uh, on the top of the device, this is where your SD card slot would go, your USB port, your hard reset button, and the power button. So this is the back of the device. So you can see here that we have uh, the web browser all loaded. So you can surf the internet, although you can't view YouTube videos un until you uh, download and install the Dolphin HD browser. Let's first take a look at some of the programs this has. You can see here that it does have uh, an abbreviated Android interface. It doesn't have the slider menu or anything like that, but it does have some screen calibrations, gallery apps, uh, development tools, as well as you know the calculator, Android file manager, uh, email, and so on. One of the things that we like about this is that it comes pre-installed with the slide uh, 3.5 SAM. So this is a Google Android market alternative. So this is how you can uh, get YouTube uh, capabilities on this by downloading uh, the Dolphin HD browser as well as the YouTube plugin. So we uh, recommend you do that. Uh, one of the other nice things about this device is that it actually comes with different Android clients. So you have the Slide Me Store, which the pre-installed app with the SAM 3.5. You have the And App Store, as well as a ton of different Android alternatives. So this is kudos to uh, Pocketbook on being able to give you a wide array of Android alternatives because not all apps are available on each market. Some markets only have, say, a Twitter app, whereas if you want to download Facebook, you have to go to a different app store. So it's really nice that they allow you a, a wide array of Google Android market alternatives. So right off the bat, that's one thing that we noticed. Um, so that means that you can download the Kindle app, the Barnes and Noble app, the Kobo app from all these different types of app stores. So you're not locked into the default marketplace, which is uh, the Bookland uh, that they do. Uh, with Bookland, you are kind of limited to a lot of open source type books. Let's take a lo uh, look at their uh, periodicals. Um, responsive list needs a little something to be desired for. It would have been nice that this came with, uh, say, uh, a stylus. If you'd be able to interact with the device. 
course, with Pocketbook, it does offer its Bookland uh, ebooks in a lot of different languages. So let's look at comics and graphic novels. Uh, you can see that they don't really have a too crazy amount of you know their their graphic novel library comprises of maybe about 10 different titles uh you can go back by hitting the backwards button here you have your home button and menu button so the default bookstore that pocket pocketbook gives you is not really too great in our opinion uh bookland is available on all of their e-readers and mainly there's a lot of Gutenberg books and things like that. There's not really a whole lot of like bestsellers and, and books by like James Patterson and uh, Sandra Brown and you know uh, mainstay bestsellers. So that's one of the few drawbacks is its, uh, of its content dis distribution. Let's take a look at uh, the library functions here. I click on all books uh, you can see that there was a lot of books in uh, different languages here so the churn pages you simply just scroll it like this uh, it does go in both landscape and portrait mode although with books it seems that you're only locked down to reading them Oh, I guess it does. Not too bad. So it looks like you can uh, do it in both landscape and portrait modes. And this is good, being able to have it in various perspectives and things like that. Page turn speed doesn't seem too bad right out of the box. Of course, you can do uh, take your own notes. It has uh, different dictionary languages and things like that. So depending on what your main, uh, main language is, You'll have uh, different dictionary options here, English, German, so on. We set it up with English, so I guess it didn't give us a whole lot of dictionary options. Uh, with settings, you can see here that it's a standard Android uh, settings as far as being able to, you know, set up your email accounts, um, you know, check out, you know, the firmware version and things like that. So you can see it's running Eclair. Uh, configure your wireless networks. Uh, you can manually kill up manu manage your applications and kill them, but we don't have any installed because we just basically unboxed this uh, an hour ago. You know, change the language, keyboard, things like that. As well as, you know, calendar apps. You know, you can check out your different programs. We've already seen this menu here. So, basically, the Pocketbook IQ is a bare-bones Android tablet. I mean, you can't really go wrong for the price, which is $139. The fact that Pocketbook has given you a ton of different Android market alternatives. So, we can simply, you know load this up and download like a Facebook or uh, Twitter applications and so on. Uh, there's, you know, you can't really get a lot of Google branded apps. You can get Google Maps, but Gmail and things like that are a little bit, uh, you know, harder to get when you don't have official access to the Google Android market, which of course the Pocketbook ITQ does not come with Google market. But one of the things that we like about this is that they make it really easy to read a lot of ebook formats. You do have a lot of apps uh, that you can install on the device, although you don't really have like a lot of uh, apps that come with the device. They pretty well leave it in your hands to put what you want and what you don't want on the device. So considering that you can put a lot of books on here, it is running a modern version of Android. I mean, it's only running a 2.0, but there's no word yet on whether you can increase the versions, whether you can go to 2.1 or 2.2. Pocketbook hasn't released any information on that yet. They seem to have just released um, the new version of the IQ 
and which is their only Android tablet with a, a bit of an older version. So it remains to be seen if they'll support or whether you can just upgrade it on your own. For $139, you can't really go wrong. We recommend uh, the Pocketbook IQ 701. If you're looking for a bare bones entry level tablet, it's only seven inches, but it's very responsive. Um, the processor is powerful. It doesn't have a lot of RAM as far as PC values go, but it opens up everything that you need to open uh, pretty quickly. Doesn't really have a lot of multimedia that's uh, built into it. But yeah, we really like this device. So we've been playing around with it for a few hours and Again, for $139, you can't really go wrong. If you're looking to purchase this device, please visit our retail partner, Shop E-Readers, and you can get uh, this as well as Pocketbook's other uh, newer e-readers here. So this has been a review of the Pocketbook IQ 701. For Goody Reader, this is Marcus. This is Nick. Everybody take care.